I'll bet you ten bucks your buddy can't ride it. I'll bet you ten bucks. <laughs> I bet you made a good, good bet. Well, you did make the bet. No, sir, I didn't bet. Oh, I thought you were the sport. Myself, you know, he did buck me off for that. Yeah, I know he did, but you got right back on him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. say, letter for you. Did you, you, you just come in? Thanks. Oh, Dad. Good. I haven't had a letter for a long time now. Bad news? Liable well, to be for somebody. What are you up to, Repeater? I'm get, getting a little leave of absence, too. Oh, you're not. Now, listen here, kid. I'm sure much obliged to you for your good intentions. But I'd be a poor sort of a pal if I left you in on this job. Now, come on, get out of here. Come on. Come on. Now, come, come on. Come on. You're worse than an old muley cow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good morning, Miss Mary. Is your dad coming into town today? No. Well, then I reckon I'll have to ride out to his place. You're just borrowing trouble if you said put on our ranch, Mr. Neville. Well, I'll have to take the chance, for I just got to talk with your dad. I wouldn't if I were you. You know, I figure I've just found out for sure who these cattle rustlers are. Haven't you known all the time, Mr. Neville? We never missed any of our stock until you came in. Miss Mary, I, I never stole any of your cattle, any more than your father stole mine. My father steal cattle? Well, I'm sorry to say I thought so. Why, I sent for my son to help me catch him at it. Why, you... you... And I, I found out different, just recently. Howdy, Mr. Collins. Howdy, boy. Take a hand. 
Maybe a little later, Jim. I'm setting a trap to catch the armory that I suspicion has been doing all this rustling. Well, goodbye, Miss Mary. I hope you all get to be good friends again. Morning, Miss Mary. Good morning, Rand. Surprised me to see you talking friendly with him. Hardly friendly. He claims that he can prove someone else is stealing his and dad's cattle and making them suspect each other. Sounds to me like he's up to some new scheme. He's on his way out now to talk to Dad, but he won't fool him any. <laughs> of course he won't. Can I help you? I've got a lot of shopping to do, so I guess I better go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Neville claims to be on to our game. Who'd he tell? The Warner gal. I was just talking to her. Did he mention any names? No, but he probably will. He's on his way out to see old man Warner now. What could he learn? I don't know, but I'm aiming to find out. Come on. Where are we going? Trailing. In on the Warner diggings. You can stand guard and give me warning if you see anybody coming. Come on. Where you are, Neville. That gets your deadline. Well, that depends, I reckon, on whether I cross it as a friend or an enemy. That's the only way any member of your tribe could get on this ranch alive. Why, you are. That's why I done it. You see. I got to have a talk with you about something important. I don't talk with half wrestlers, not when I know it. No more do I. But I've just found out that neither of us two old fools is set. You stay here and keep your eye on the road. All right, boss. All right. I'm willing to listen to your talk, Neville. Come on in. Sit down, Neville. While I was a-hunting for some strays, I seen a shack tucked away like it wanted to be hid. And there's your foreman and my foreman and this here buzzard they call Rawhide are coming out together a carrying Brandon irons. Never Wait, don't think... that ain't all. They get on their horses. And down the gully of peace, they met up at this here ranch Colin. You don't mean that you suspect Colin? Plenty. I dropped into his office casual-like the next day to say howdy. 
And there I seen some envelopes postmarked Tuna Paw, Nevada. I reckon Tom, maybe he was knowed there. So I telegraphed a friend of mine who got caught in the Nevada gold rush and asked him if he knew Collins, and if so, what about him? And what he told me will probably have you thinking like I do about Collins. You mean uh, that he didn't have a good reputation there? Hmm. It seems he got out just ahead of the sheriff. Here's the answer I got. You get in the hills and stay hid for a spell. There's no chance of them suspicioning me. What happened? What do you suppose? Get going. All right, boss. to worrying over what you said about Neville heading this way. You know, he's dangerous. I reckon Father can take care of himself. Well, I suppose so, but I'm going along with you to see that everything's all right. All right. Come on. Carry him in for you, Miss Mary. Oh, thank you, Rand. What is it? Howdy, partner. Howdy. Can you tell me where Clem Neville lives? Tell you where he did live. Did live? Why, has he moved? Reckon you could call it that, seeing as he was buried this morning. Buried? You can't mean Clem Neville. Well, I thought everybody heard about him and old Warner shooting one another up last Monday. I'm just a stranger riding in town. Would you mind telling me how it all happened? Uh, seems like Neville went out to make trouble with Warner, and he got this as much as he give. A well, man, that can't be right. Why, I, I... I'm just telling you what I hear. Warner's daughter gets home from town and finds the both bodies plugged and the guns in their hands.
Miss Warner? Well, uh, I know it's going to be mighty distressing for you to answer any questions, but I come to learn about the, about the shooting last Monday. What? You see, we figure there's more than one rustler mixed up in this. There's a whole gang of them, a whole ring of them. And the Cattlemen's Association sent me out to do a little investigating. Well, what is it you want to know? Could I see the room where, where it happened? Yes, it's this way. Thanks. Neville did it. I know he did. What makes you think so, Miss? Well, he told me and told me he was coming out, and I asked him not to. Did he say what he was coming out for? Yes. He claimed that he knew who the real wrestlers were, but it was a lie. I know it was. It was only a scheme to... Of course, I know what it is to lose the father in this. I don't want to ask you any more questions than I can help. You just ask me the best way you can, will you? I'm all right now. I, I really want to help. Do you know whether Neville told anybody else about these wrestlers? And did you tell anybody? I mean, before you came out from town that day. Collins. Do you know him very well? He's one of my best friends. I see. Well, he he was with me when I found Father at Neville. Oh, he come up from town with you then? Well, no, he, he overtook me when I turned in at our road. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm much obliged, Miss. Maybe I'll be seeing you again. And I wish you wouldn't tell anybody about what I've been asking you. If any of your friends, they might tell somebody else. And I can work better if it's kind of secret-like, you know? All right. I won't mention it. Thanks. Oh, just a minute. Mr. Neville said that his son was coming here. Maybe he's one of this rustling ring that you're speaking of. Why? Well... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly try to find out about it. Thanks. Goodbye, miss. Goodbye. You want something, stranger? I just dropped in to find a way to town, Cole. Oh. Well, if that's all you're looking for, you'll find it straight down that road. Oh, down that way, huh? Yes. Much obliged. Yeah. 
Name your poison, stranger. I'll have a little of that rot gut, I guess. That good? I'm just calling you, Collins, to keep you honest. Beat you old Harry how you draw those cards. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty lucky tonight. He sure bet them when he gets them. Give me the deck, right, Jim. Canyon. Any message for the boys? Yeah. Tell them we need 200 head of beads. And I don't care where you get them. I got you. Hi, Blake. Hi, boy. Hi, Blake. Howdy, Blake. Right. I come in with Brandon, Rohan. All done except for 50 head in Dark Canyon. Slim and Curly's attending to them now. 50 head? 
Collins says he has to have at least 200 heads, and you boys have got to get them. Where are we going to get 200 heads? I thought I heard something. Where are we going to pick up these 200 heads? We've got it all figured out. I'll have the boys move some of the Warner steers onto the back range. Then they'll be right handy for you. Hey, Peter. What are you doing here? I, I, I figured it might be tougher than you thought. That's why I'm here. Who's winning the money? Jack here. He's taking all our money. Just born it for a while, that's all. Looks like a right likely game. I'll have Great. to sit in on the next hand. And there's plenty of room for you. How many cards do you want? Three. Three? How many do you want, Buck? Two. I'm on a whole lane. You're not good enough to come, but I wanted you out of brought you. I told you this time. Listen, nothing. Listen. Who's batting here? They're all ready to fight. Well, they ain't going to fight in the game. What are you saying, Roy? I'll raise it there. I wish I had my rifle. What you do with our horses? Howdy, Mr. Collins. I usually don't shake without proper introduction, stranger. <laughs> My name never did count much with me. Different sheriffs call me different. Whenever I find it necessary to shed a handle, I usually falls back on Smith temporarily. What do you want? I come riding into town yesterday, prospecting for plunder. I was getting downright discouraged till I heard Rance Collins was in town. What are you driving at? 
I figured that wherever you pitched your camp, there was not only plenty of beans to be had, but plenty of sow belly to go with them. We ain't never met up before, have we? No. I usually been getting in these places right after you left. Seems like the sheriff has been forgetting you to worry about me. I was that way in Wyoming, Colorado, up in the Jackson Hole country. A lot of places. That's why I figured you wouldn't be here unless it was good pickings. Tommy? You're thinking of some other calling, stranger. Now listen, Colin. Ain't no use of two fellas like us trying to fool one another. I don't know what your game is, but I figure it's a good one. And you will find me a mighty good sidekick while you're playing it. Now come on! You're under arrest. Why? Huh? Hold your hands right where they are. Don't figure on getting very far with me, do you, kid? No one's slick enough to get away once us rangers get them covered. What's the idea, ranger? I'm aiming to take this here Red River dance back to El Paso. Red River again? Yeah. The particular crime I'm arresting him for is killing and robbing a young fellow by the name of Kenneth Neville. He killed Kenneth Neville? And then there was more than 20 witnesses to the shooting. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm glad they caught him. Oh, you, you don't know that happened. Say, you think you could... Hold this loose for me while I get the handcuffs out of my saddlebag? Sure. It's a long chance to let him out of my sight, but I reckon I gotta take it. Keep that little round hole pointed right at his wishbone. And if he sneezes, pull the trigger. Throw the gun at him. Hit him with a chair. Yell for help and run like hallelujah. I'll, I'll be, be right, right back. Rest easy, partner. Sit down. So you're Red River again, the bold, bad outlaw, caught like a little boy stealing apples by a stuttering boob ranger. You ain't got me in the hoo yet. It's not likely to either. <laughs> Hold it right where you are, Colin. I wondered you didn't have an ace in the hole. A man don't get your reputation unless he can think as well as shoot. We're teaming up then, huh? Where are you going? To get this rope. What's that for? Well, it'll look better if I'm tied up and gagged when the ranger finds you missing. You don't have to worry about him. I'm settling accounts with him right now. But you can't shoot a ranger in my saloon. Oh, can I? Yes, but... But nothing. When the smoke clears away, you'll find you have me for a partner and everybody's thinking I'm a ranger. There he is now. You stay out of this. Let me handle it personally. Stop where you are, Gans. You're under arrest for murder. Gentlemen, you understand Red River Gans? Mm, nothing of the sort. I... You're a Red River Gans. And you're going to show these boys just how tough you are. Better go for your gun if you got any nerve. That hombre got any friends that want to back up his play? No, that's not me, Ranger. Sure got him. Does anybody here think they can outguess a Ranger, boys? This ought to be a pretty good lesson. This committee sure is. Awful sorry I must your place up, Mr. Collins. 
That's all right, Ranger. I'll be getting this garbage right out, though. Can I help you, Ranger? Oh, you boys just stay here and see that the bartender has the drinks all fixed up when I get back. Oh, I'm going to have this carton. We'll take it outside and box it up. Sheriff and El Paso will be mighty glad to get a hold of him. <laughs> oh, he's a heavy one. You're sure going to find him heavy, all right? Here he goes, boys. Oh, nice. Hey, fellas. Head out the door. That shows that bad men ain't never as bad as they're painted. Stand up, Richard. Wow, but you're heavy. Say, that looks like a real McCoy, don't it? You're bleeding to death. You think get done it from natural for a minute I thought I wasn't dead. <laughs> I'll never be able to look another ketchup bottle in the face again. Well, I hope it turns out all right. Even if it ain't according to Hoyle. That's a according to Hines. And there's 50... Seven reasons why it'll work out okay, Ken. <laughs> now listen, you stick around and watch your chance to make a getaway. I'm going back to Collins. Tommy? What wrecked you, Black? Got something to tell you, Colin. Well, come on. Hey, a couple of snoopers surprised us at the hideout last night. Yeah? What happened? I don't think they overheard nothing. We discovered them too quick. What did you do, plant them? No, we fought with them. But they got plumb away. They even scattered our horses so we couldn't trail them. You did, huh? Would you know them again if you'd seen them? No, not if I'd just seen them. But if I heard them again, I might. Why? One of them stuttered. Well, you don't have to worry about him. The ranger Gans just shot, stuttered terrible. Gans? Yeah. He just plugged him. That's good. I wish I could find out who that other hombre was. I'd like to plug him myself. Come on, Randy, and thanks for that There's Gans now. Sure, come right on, George. Give him a good one. just like a routine work with Hey, that's the fellow I saw at the ranch snooping around. Are you sure? Sure. Of course, he may have been telling the truth when he said he just wanted to know the directions into town, but it didn't look that way to me. Here he comes. Let me do the talking. Kansas is black. Howdy. I right. know you. I was just telling him how slick you checked out that ranger. Oh. The two of us figure on cutting you in on rounding up some cows without paying no particular attention to brand. Satisfactory, profitable. We got a notion to put you out on the Warner Ranch with him. Well, you're the doctor. You know where the Warner Ranch is? Warner Ranch. Oh, Warner Ranch. I guess that's where I stopped the other day to ask the way to town. Uh, that's where I seen you, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought we'd met someone before, right from the first. Your face has changed a lot, though, since then. You better get going, Gans. Black will ride out with you. Come on. So long. So long. Help me, Miss Mary. What do you want? Right there. How's that? What do you want? That's just fine, thank you. You know, it hardly seems right for the ranger that out through Red River again to be doing housework. Well, you see, Miss Mary, 
I, I never did hardly know what home life was. I guess that's the reason I enjoy helping you with yours. Hardly seems like home anymore. I guess I know how you feel, all right. That the way you want it? That's right, thank you. You know, sometimes I wish that Neville's son wasn't there. Well, well, why? Then maybe I could take out some of what's inside of me, hating him. Hate's a mighty harsh word, Miss Mary. It's all right for you to talk that way, but... If someone murdered your father. I guess I'd never give up trying till I found out who it was for sure. But I am sure. Sometimes, Miss Mary, it's awful hard to tell what we're sure of and what we just think we're sure of. Are you defending Neville against me? Miss Mary, if the time ever comes, you'll find that I'll be defending you against the whole world. Well, let me help. Where do you want it? Right there. Smell good, don't you? Gosh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I didn't like it much anyway. Let me pick it up. Ow! Touch yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you good? It's bleeding. Let me tie it up. Hurt much? Oh. Got it, darling. Hello, Blake. Say, where's our ranger? I reckon he's up at the house talking to the girl. That's where he spends most of his time. How's that? That's you all right? Mm -hmm. Not too tight. Mm -hmm. It's all my fault. Excuse me if I'm buttoned in on anything. Oh, hello, Red. She cut her finger. Red? Not very, no. I'd like to have a few words with you. Miss Mary will excuse it. Why, of course. Sure. Thanks. Goodbye, Miss Mary. Goodbye. Say, you're supposed to be out, Gan, seeing that the cattle are on their way. Two hundred head and eat it at Blue Rock Pass tonight, ready for delivery. Hi, Solly. I'll tend to it right away. All right. Now, I want you to meet me tonight at the saloon, and we'll ride out together. Sure. All right. Mary, it can't be. But it is. Look for yourself. He's a Neville Rand. I know he is, and he's planning something. Yeah, that's certain. I'll get into town right away with this. Now, don't worry. He won't get away with anything. And if he comes back here before going to town, don't let on you know anything. I won't. I'm riding out to the pass with Collins. He wants to be there in person to attend to the selling in cattle. Now, all you've got to do, Peter, is to get the sheriff and his posse together. Be out there about 10 o'clock, round the whole gang up. Got it? You know you can depend on me, Ken. All right, I'll be seeing you later. You sure will. Hello. Hello.
Are you sure, boss? He's young Neville, all right, and is expecting us to walk into a trap. That means we can't deliver no beef to your boss tonight, Arkansas. We're going to be too busy getting rid of that ranger. I guess that's right. Yeah. You drive out to the pass, Curly, and scatter them cattle. All the sheriff will find when he gets there is a lot of cow tracks. I'll tend to them, all right. Yeah? That ranger knows too much already. Which he won't be able to spill on any witness stand when we get through with him. He'll be here tonight to ride out with us. And he ain't got no idea how long a trip he's going to take. <laughs> <laughs> now, you boys scatter, and I'll see you tonight. Howdy, Miss Mary. I'm back again. Why, well, yes. I'm hoping to have good news for both of us before morning. You are? Yeah, I'm sorry I can't tell you more about it now. If everything turns out like I'm expecting, my job here will be finished. Of course, that'll mean my reporting back to headquarters. Oh, I suppose they'll be getting a medal on you or something? A medal? Oh, no. It'll mean they'll just be sending me out to chase more rustlers and the like, that's all. Gee. I was kind of hoping you'd want me to be drifting back this way sometime to say howdy. Why? Well, of course, if, if you want to. That's the only thing in the world I will be wanting to do. Miss Warner! Miss Warner! While I was out hunting some of my strays, I passed your back fence. The bars were down. Looked like somebody was running off your stock. Are you sure, Mr. Brown? From the tracks, it looked that way. Well, I must hurry on. So that's why you've been fooling me. Fooling you? Yes, so you could steal my cattle without my suspecting you. Well, you don't think I'm a cattle rustler, do you? Your worse. You and your father. Miss Mary, I can explain. Stay away from me. I hate you. Miss Mary, please. I wonder where he's at. Well, don't worry. He'll be here all right. Here you are, Miss Collins. All right. Put that back, Slim. We'll handle this funeral nice and private-like. Back there. All right. But first, I want to find out just what he told the sheriff. You're right, yeah. You're right boss. Now, don't anybody draw a gun until I give the word. There he is now. Come on, Black. Now listen, you fellas drift in nice and casual like, one and two at a time. Come on, give me a break. It's not been a year. Howdy, boys. Howdy. 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 I reckon I'll take charge of you the boss gets out here, huh? Hey, Ranger, the boss is looking for you in the back room. All right. Wait, Hello, Black. Oh, hello. Howdy, Collins. Howdy. I'm sorry I'm late. That's all right. No hurry. Sit down. Hadn't we better be drifting? Oh, have a drink first. My special bottle. Maybe a long time before you taste anything like this again, Gan. <laughs> What's the joke? Slim's always that way when he's had one too many. There you are. What's the matter? You fellas drinking? Oh, sure. Yeah, Black. You've had enough, Slim. 
Well, here's to your health, Ken. May it always be good, and your death an easy one. Come on, have that on down. Howdy. Hello. 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 Have another? Oh, thanks. You've had enough. What? So soon? After I open my special bottle for you. Maybe Buck will have it. We've all been drinking to Gan's health. Sure. Here's how. Howdy, man. Hello, Howdy. 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 What is this, Rance? A party? Yeah, Gans. Your party. Oh, quit your fool. We gotta be going. Well, I ain't sure we better go. I heard the sheriff was headed toward Blue Rock Pass this afternoon. How could he know anything about that? I wonder. Maybe we got a skunk in this outfit. You mean somebody's been blabbing? Looks that way. What would you do with him? Well, the only thing I know to do to put a man away permanently is lead. That's just the way the rest of the boys feel. Come on, Neville. Out with it. What have you told the sheriff? Say, what's eating on you, Rance? Now, you can't fool me, none. You better talk and talk fast. Well, you don't, sir. We'd better stick here and pack for a getaway. If Neville gets out alive, this climate won't be healthy for us. You're right, boss. Come on.
It's taken a long, long time to catch up with you. Why, it ain't me you want. It's him. Arrest him for shooting that ranger. Oh, what ranger was that? What ranger was that that got shot up? Hello, Ken. Repeater. I, I, I was a little, little late trying to persuade that buzzer to talk. He, he, he finally told it was Collins that murdered you. My goodness. Oh, no. up. Guess that's all we need to know, Sheriff. Now get going. Take him along, boy. Come on, get, get, get out. Well, now that this is all cleaned up, I reckon you'll be drifting back to headquarters. Reckon I will, Sheriff. Well, so long. So long. Miss Mary. No, I'm all right. But, gee, I wish you'd let me do some explaining before I leave. I'm the one that should do the explaining and apologizing, too. Didn't you say you was drifting, Neville? No, Sheriff. I'm staying permanent. I'm staying uh, I gotta take care of both of them. <laughs> 